In a 500 meter dash, you are coached to take long rhythmic strides at the beginning and run as fast as you can in the last 100 meters all the way to the finish line. Seniors, you're almost to that finish line. Keep on running for another 48 hours. The end is near. From kindergarten, you're able to take life in long strides, saving each and every day of school, every ounce of free time and nap time, every birthday party, every book that you tried so hard to read without stumbling. Now senior year, you race to get in applications, finish exams, spend time with friends, and graduate before your time at Randolph ends. So I want you to take a second and look at the big picture. Everything that you have accomplished since you were little when you actually begin school will be signified in your diploma that you receive on Saturday. Those accomplishments and that foundation will be invaluable valuable to you for the rest of your life. But why do we give back and why to specific organizations? Because we have a connection. We value our family and those organizations to which we give our time. As alumni, you now have that privilege and opportunity to give back. Randolph is part of your community. What is your connection in that big picture? What do you appreciate about Randolph? How has it helped you? I've always been a perfectionist. Randolph definitely did not help me with that. <laughs> when I realized that I would not graduate from college in 2012 with my friends, and that I would have to battle complications and a long recovery process ahead, I had to look at the bigger picture to get through it all. I had to focus on what I had control of, which was huge mentally for me, and not fret about the small things that we often have no control over. So in that big picture, for me, Randolph plays a lead role. Randolph was more than a great education. It was my foundation, and more importantly, my support network. I hardly shared anything about my health, and Randolph was small and close-knit, where my integrity was respected when I was in school. But at the same time, staff were ready to be supportive and do whatever they could. However, when I went to college, I became more transparent and I had to take that brave step. For the first time, I had to let in people that I had not known for over half my life. We became each other's new support network. At Randolph, staff have been supportive from day one, as if I have never left. Some, some faculty even came to visit me in the hospital and at my house, which meant a lot. When I was in school, they made sure to promote and support me in any of my talents or interests. They were always encouraging. When I came back from college, I was so excited to tell um, Ms. Smith, um, the chemistry teacher, that we were starting a student-led regional science Olympia back in UAB, um, or that I was tutoring AB chemistry students, or tell Nurse Smith about the UAB Habitat chapter. And no, they're not sisters. It's okay if they lie to you, they lie to me too. <coughs> There are many ways you can give back to Randolph. You can give a monetary donation. Randolph's main sources of funds are from tuition and donations. Anything, even if it is a minimum amount, is better than nothing. Also, give back by staying in touch with teachers and staff. Just like your family, Randolph teachers are so proud. They're proud parents. They nurtured and taught you for so long. It is a reward for them to see you succeed do well, and finally graduate. Keep Randolph up to date and let them know what they can do better. You will learn a lot at college, and Randolph can use your advice to improve the future of the next class of graduating seniors. But also, Randolph can help you. You are now part of the alumni network, which includes individuals from all walks of life. You might know what your major or majors are in college and want internships, shadowing experiences, or even a job. <coughs> Alumni are a great resource for information, opportunities, and they might even be in a profession that you hope to reach one day. For example, last week I was reading the Randolph Magazine and I took note of a man's name that used to teach at Randolph when I was younger, but now he's on the board of an organization in Birmingham that I would like to intern with in the future. So keep up with alumni news through Randolph's publications and magazines, the website, emails, and of course, Facebook. You never know what you might find. However, the most you can do is give back to your friends and classmates, the ones that are
are sitting right here with you. So I want you to do something for me if you don't mind. I want you to stand up and hug the person on either side of you. I know that sounds cool. <laughs> Randolph and his values. And that, class of 2012, is the big 